The Heat have won seven straight Christmas games, 10 and two all time. Best record for any team on Christmas. And our Christmas Day slate 2020 is underway. Every single year, you know he can knock down shots. He puts in the work ethic, and that's really the next step for him. Knocking down contested shots, doesn't matter who's in front of them, just being having, having the ability to raise over top. Out of bio. Looking ahead, and when you have a power forward that can get out on the break and finish, the first thing you want to do is look up for that receiver. Out of bounds as Miami turns it over, something they did to head coaching career here in Miami. And Van Gundy has said, yeah, you know what? <laughs> It has been difficult implementing all this change for for his team in an abbreviated preseason. Said sometimes he doesn't know, is he not giving him enough? Is he giving him too much? Trying to find the right balance as Ingram draws the whistle. Shots and limiting second shots of your opponents. Goran Dragic into the game for Miami. Nico Melli for New Orleans. And there's the first two of the game for the Heat is Bam out of my Hard out there with Jackson Hayes, Reddick, Bledsoe, and Williamson. Iguodala gets another look. Instead, we'll give it up to Adebayo. Oh. And you are right, Richard. This matchup between the Pelicans and the Heat, the first of five games today on our ESPN family of networks as Reddick leaves it short. Against Bam, two on the shot clock. Hart sends it up. And another outstanding segment of defense for the Heat, turning into that. A bam slam. Uh, situations where Miami's coming up with the loose ball and, and getting out on the break. Bam with the slam. What a gorgeous assist by Dragic. He, he put it right on the money. You can't throw a better lob than that. Scoreless in seven first quarter minutes, but Dragic comes off and lights the fuse with, with nine great minutes. And now Coach Bolstra comes back with, with Tyler here. here. Three so far in this game. Interesting to see just the chess game that goes on in an NBA game right now. Coach Spo is, wants to make sure that Myers Leonard is on the floor. Time you, you, you come over to our side. <laughs> That's the dark side. Robinson <laughs> hits another three. That's six threes in the half. Arm swipes, the little hands in there. That's not going to do it. So it's going to be interesting to watch him adjust to the level of the physicality. Right now, that's Israel Gutierrez. Israel? Hey, thanks, Ryan. And you know it's rare as Bam Adebayo gets a bucket there. You know it's rare when a finals team makes... I think the bubble helped contribute to their success, yes. Uh, but I think the additions of Jay Crowder and Andre Iguodala, as you see that lob for Bam Adebayo. Well, we'll see if there's any further information on why Butler is not starting the second half here as Williamson twists his way into a whistle. Talking about being slowed a little bit in that Orlando game and said he was asked what happened you know how he was defended he said well they stepped on my ankle that's what happened so perhaps <laughs> some lingering effects players get connections with coaches that just know how to talk to them that can look at their shot that can fix and tweak little things that can make you know percentage jumps the difference between 35 and 39 is huge in this league no, but look, what I like about Bam Adebayo is his versatility. Everyone talks about it, but he does so much of running their offense, uh, of rebounding. You know about the amazing defensive plays he made, the Jason Tatum block. This is the first of five games on our ESPN family of networks today, and Zion Williamson unable to complete the three-point play. See at the end of the season. Yes, Lonzo Ball will be a restricted free agent at the end of this season. Dragic. Flips it up and in. Well done, Goran Dragic. Because I saw him trailing really, really hard, and it looked like Bam Adebayo set an amazing screen, and then Josh Hart ended up on the floor. Foundation of your life, I would say. Yeah, rules are rules. Adebayo hits both. Hit as he hooked Adebayo. Did occur before the shot. Had it occurred simultaneous with it, you would have had the bucket and then a chance to make it a three-point play. You could see that there was some frustration there in that foul, but flagrant one, we have to kind of change our mentalities to what a flagrant foul that was a common foul in the 80s, was, was a common foul in the 90s, even early 2000s. That's a flagrant now, uh, you know, so um, it just is what it is. Here comes Robinson. Harkless will feed out a bio. Quick first step, couldn't reverse it in. 